Hey y'all, long time no video. I, st I don't even know how this one's gonna go. I just, oh, I wanted to video, make a video on Monday because we went and got the chicken coop and another surprise, but I didn't. And then I wanted to video yesterday and I ended up not in a low, but super exhausted. And I like slept most of the day. <laughs> Um, or was just in bed and John did kids and house stuff and that was wonderful. Today, John went back to work, kids went to school, little kids are playing, I'm really trying to get off TV so we come home from taking the big kids to school and they're like, um, turn on something for us and I'm like, no, I'm not turning on the TV for you. So that's a little of adjustment because they're used to, and like yesterday when I didn't feel good, I think the TV was on, but you know, we're not perfect. But when I do feel good and they can entertain themselves, I try and keep the TVs off now. What are you two doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Bailey was like jumping on Bella. So, I, today I'm cleaning. I made myself a new little necklace. Is that cool? It's, it's a heart. Let's see. It's a heart on a chain. But my problem is I didn't realize that the heart would turn upside down like every three seconds. <laughs> anyway, I'm cleaning slowly. I haven't made it out of my room yet. I mean, it's 11 o'clock, but you know, whatever. I know he doesn't care. I don't care. I do, I'm gonna insert a video. I tried to make a video of like a night routine. One of the last nights he was on nights. Uh, night routine and they introduced animals and stuff and then everyone fell apart so I will insert the clips that I have of the kids introducing animals here we have a new doggy talk so they can understand you we have a new dog and his name is badge 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 and he, I don't know what type he is, Mom. He's what a is? terrier rat, terrier rat. He's a terrier mutt. He's a terrier mutt. So, he's here. Two years old. And he's two years old. And someone was getting rid of him. Someone was getting rid of him. And so, the off officer? The animal control. The animal control gave him to us for free. Yep. And so here he is. Badge, come here, buddy. There he is. Say hi. That is Badge. Badge, where'd you go, buddy? That's Badge. And he is very cheery. Very cheery puppy. He likes to wag his tail. Hi guys, we also have um, a couple new animals. There's 12 of them. My family got them today while me and Ty were at school. Here they are. They're baby chicks. We've got 12 of them. Three over there, the rest of them. And then there's food and water for them. And then you heard about Badge, our puppy. And then, um, so I just wanted to show you guys these little guys. Um, my mom, my mom, um, got, get out of there. My mom got them today, and my mom said that the very yellow ones, um, the very yellow ones, um, lay white eggs, and the kind of brownish ones, I don't know about them, but she said the very yellow ones lay eggs, white eggs. That's just bad, She's barking at his squeaky dog, his squeaky toy. So, here are the chickens. There's some right there, and then they've got their, their light, and then their water, and their food. So, 
that's what they got for us today. Bye. And then I have two more animals to introduce you to and an update. Um, we're working on the coop. I don't know if I want to update you on the chickens or not, but uh, I will show you these guys. These are our newest addition and part of why I wanted to, um, part of why I wanted to film on Monday. Come on, move. Dogs, go outside. Go on, Ella, go. Is chickens are in there. It's very crowded. I'm getting the outside coop ready, but it's supposed to snow. And we didn't want to put the chickens out in the snow. So maybe one more, couple more days in here, and then they're going out to the regular coop. Um, that these two we got for free from Tractor Supply Company because they were the last two. They had taken down all of their chick stuff and these guys were just sitting in the back and the, we went to ask about the chicken coop and the guy was like, hey, do you want ducks? And the kids had been begging for ducks, but I had kind of said, no, we'll do ducks next year after I get settled with the chickens and everything. But the guy was like, we're looking for a home for these guys because they're the last two, they would be free. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> so we grabbed these two. Um, this one, I think we're gonna name Goose and don't, the bigger one and he's or she like we don't even know what sex they are we don't know what kind they are they were just freebies so we're learning is super healthy the little one is like a little runt and we're pretty sure it's lame um, it can move its legs and it can kind of put weight on its legs so they're not broken or dislocated or anything he's literally just lame um, so we're babying him, taking very good care of him. They've got vitamins in their water. That's why it's yellow. And he seems to be doing a lot better than he was the day we but got them. But I think them. the day we got them, they had been out of their brooders box. I, we don't know when the last time they had food or water was. So I think that's why he was so sickly when we got him. But he's um, we put him up where he can eat and drink and he does really well. This one, on the other hand, you, I see where you peed. I don't understand. He spent all morning outside and he comes in and pees. So I have to go beat a dog. I'll be right back. The house is such a mess right now. It's not even funny, but I have four children and a husband that works and I have something wrong me with me mentally and I just can't keep up with it. But look guys. We got new furniture, that's another plus. We went to the, the, the furniture store and we were looking because we wanted a sleeper. So the piece I'm sitting on, the couch is a sleeper. Um, just in case we have people or other, like my whole thought was people that come to visit um, because we lost our guest room when we moved, we need just another some place for someone to sleep so they can sleep on the couch or the love seat, or we can pull out the sleeper, that's fine. But if, you know, if people can't go home or come to visit from out of state, or if we host um, someone from church, or I was thinking like John, when John goes to trainings and stuff, he needs, he stays with people. And I was thinking, well, we can kind of like pay it back by having, opening up the house to have someone stay with us if they ever came for training or whatever. So yeah. That's what I was thinking. So we have a sleeper um, and a love seat, love seat. And this is a chair and a half. And so we walked in and we were looking and this lady, you know, salespeople just, it doesn't matter if it's furniture or cars or vitamins or whatever. People are like, ah, right on you. And we're like, no, we don't need help. We don't need help. We don't need help. We don't need help. And this one lady walked up to us and she was like, you've got kids. I know exactly what you would like. And we were kind of like, mm, whatever. But we went and saw it anyway and we hadn't seen it yet. So it's not like we had seen it. And we loved it. <laughs> she knew. Um, it's easily washable. The cushions, the back cushions don't come off. Um, it's easy to like vacuum or clean with a upholstery cleaner kind of thing. We also got an ottoman that opens up. So I've had a lot of these pillows in there. Like we bought them and they delivered them and they all came with the pillows. And I really am not a pillow person, especially when they all end up on the nasty floor, but we love it. And I think this is how we're gonna keep it. We kind of didn't realize how small it made the room when you got all four pieces in here, but we're gonna buy a table to put there. 
and John and I sit and watch TV in the chair and a half. Um, and pr you know, eventually we're going to get a projector so we won't have the TV and all of its accoutrements. Um, but you know, we kind of just flip the TV, you know, twist the TV a little bit and we can watch and, um, the kids, it's big enough now. Everyone can sit and watch. <laughs> we have room for guests, like super cool. Um, and we got the ottoman because you can't get a sleeper, you know, in a recliner set. So we didn't get any recliner. We got the ottoman for John's long lengthy legs. If I sit all the way back, like I'm not sitting all the way back. If I'm sitting like this, my feet touch the floor. If I sit all the way back, my feet do not touch the floor. Therefore, I don't need a recliner or ottoman or anything. It's just normal. Um, you need to get down. The biggest thing, get down. The biggest thing is the dogs were used to being on the old furniture. And now we're establishing no dogs on this furniture. And they're not taking to it very kindly. They don't understand. But um, we want to keep it as nice as possible. So... I know some people, like I watch videos and they say like, oh, the dogs have adopted the couch and the dogs think that their couch is their bed and all this stuff. And I'm like, no, you can teach them to not get on the furniture. Like they're teachable. You can, I promise if you don't start it. So ever since we got these, it's been no dogs on the furniture. Um, and that's how it's gonna be, but I really like them. I like the color. They're kind of literally from what I'm seeing in the screen, that's the color. They're, they're gray. They're a, a gray and then their pillows are kind of tannish, but, um, they are a gray and that's nice because that's a very nice color for what I wanted to do in the house anyway. That's what lunch is consisting of. My children are kind of gross. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here. It is 12.30, kids had lunch, kids are in bed. Pierce is giving me a hard time about nap time. I am making some, I'm boiling some water for some coffee. I'm on my last box of my hemp coffee and I'm really sad, but I just, I don't know what to do with life anymore. Um, a guy just came by from DOT, they're gonna be widening our road and they want to take some of our trees out. And I was like, hmm, I just heard little feet. Oh, so I'm gonna, I have to remember to tell John about that. Um, and he gave me a card and everything. And now I've gotta go put a kid back to bed and maybe get some rest for nap time. So I think this video is long enough. Just a little glimpse update kind of video thing. I don't know if I'm gonna get back into it a lot, but I've been itching to make a video, so here it is. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.